Hello, all my beautiful Virgo friends. Welcome to your May 16th through 31st, 2021 reading. This is a collective reading for all Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. Also, at the website, royalmystic.com, you can link to Royal Mystic Curiosity Shop. There's a direct link you can click. Also, you can go to uh, check out the Vibe Tribe and decide if, you, if that's for you. There's two different levels and you can explore that. And all the different things that I offer, and all the different services and uh, different uh, discounts that may be available. So, Please uh, peruse at your leisure, but know that that is where anything, anytime you're looking for a reading, I get lots of emails uh, asking me how much and, and when they can book. It's all listed. Everything is out there for you to see, royalmystic.com. So here we go. We have the star card and the eight of pentacles. So the, this was the bottom of the reading. This is the Aquarius Major Arcana, so the bottom card of the deck. And this is the eight of pentacles, which is the where I cut the cards. And this is the energy of working towards something that will pay off in the future. So it is the apprentice card and it does mean for some people attaining new knowledge or putting your knowledge to the highest test and, and getting, you know, bringing it to the highest level, whether that's um, mastering a, a skill or a hobby and turning it into something that actually is lucrative or uh, bringing your skills to the level of getting certified for something. These are all energies of wonderfulness. Now, the star card is ascension energy. It means soul breakthrough moment. That is a soul star. Your third eye is lit up. And, and just because it's floating right above her head, that could be your crown, your crown chakra there. But the thing is, this is the moment where all things start to break loose and the universe says yes to your soul's wish. Or your soul's journey whatever it is that your soul path is this is the opening for all of that to start manifesting so you get the all clear from the universe and here we go thank you angels archangels divine pure white light divine spirit spirit guides gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here to allow all virgo sun moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So that second cut card was the Ace of Swords. That's getting a clear direction. So you're getting a clear vision, a clear direction, and it's a victory. It is an Ace so it is a gift from divine of opening up and, and parting the veil, removing anything that's been obscuring your vision so that you can see the whole big picture. Don't overthink it. Eight, Eight of Swords is the over-analysis paralysis card, so don't let yourself run away with that because the universe has got this. The Sun card is the happiest card in tarot. The Scorpio Major Arcana is clearing all the old negativity and giving you a fresh clean start and that sun card is a rebirth energy and whatever little things that you have to overcome this is a very small hurdle to uh, get over or even competition or struggle within yourself that five of wands it means change and sometimes it takes a little more effort than than just jumping off a log right so here's the queen of cups looking forward in the energy of caution, but still optimistic. The Four of Pentacles, very secure financially, money in the bank. And walking away from what no longer serves you, the Seven of Swords. Releasing the burden of having to deal with things that um, are not part of your new future here, okay? It can sometimes mean releasing people or relationships. It can also mean releasing habits. We have the strength card, which is the energy of standing and focusing on the goal. This is the Leo Major Arcana. This is Archangel Ariel, the Lion of God, helping you walk forward in the energy of divine 
and keeping you focused. You've got the Nine of Pentacles, which is the payoff of the Garden of Eden energy where you stand in your faith and the universe responds to your belief so that when you believe that the universe is continuously conspiring in your favor and you know that the universe shows up exactly with what you need, exactly when you need it, every single time. This is a mantra. Thank you, universe. I know that you're continuously conspiring in my favor. I know that you always show up exactly when I need it, with what I need, every single time. That faith will walk you into your destiny of being able to be provided for through faith. Receiving abundance from sources known and unknown. We've got boss lady energy. This is a new... Uh, anytime you see the feminine that is a king or a queen, you've got two feminine energies here. This is the energy of two queens, and that is meaning being in a place of fertility and new growth and new beginnings. So this is a new passion, and it can be a job, or it can be being in uh, the leadership position, feeling empowered. We have the king of pentacles, which is your king. Virgo, Major Arcana King, the Earth Energy. This is King Midas, and he's making a commitment, and he's digging in. So this is not something that's taken lightly. So as we have the Eight of Swords, it's telling you everything's not quite settled yet. There's no real way to get a grip on this. For you, you don't have to take this into your own control. Remember... Being in faith, releasing the need to try to drive the bus, letting the universe do the driving, you just know what your goal is. What your goal is, my best possible life now, or whatever you can make your statement. I try not to make it too, too uh, lengthy, because when we, we're in a moment of, of freak out mode, I would say, um, uh, anxiety, it's hard to remember all the words. So... Make it short, make it sweet, and focus only on the goal. Don't think about, you don't need to tell the universe how to lace its own shoes. It doesn't need that help. You're just wasting your energy. So here is the sun card. Beautiful alignment of the opportunity of a lifetime. The universe is giving you every single opportunity you need by putting all the pieces in place for you to hit your target. The sun is the target, and this is the energy of being very much aligned with your divine purpose. Whatever is coming through this process, you are going to come through it with flying colors. Yeah. Now we have death to the old way, which is the energy of the Scorpio Major Arcana, releasing you from all the, the fog or the toxic energy, whatever this is, letting it go, and getting a rebirth, a fresh, clean slate, being able to start new. Then we have the Five of Wands, which is the energy of being at odds with something, or you may be battling something, or something may be trying to, you know, feeling a little bit of under attack by something. This is you being assisted by someone else, so don't worry, you're not going through the battle alone. You may feel like you're in the battle alone, but you're not. Of course, whatever this is, it's causing a little bit of fear uh, toward the future. You're looking toward the future, you know, hoping for the best, but fearing that somehow, some way, something's going to happen that's not going to be uh, in your best interest. However, we've got to feel the fear and go forward anyway in faith, remember? You are secure. This is the miser, but it also means a solid foundation for you because you are the coins. This is your Virgo energy this is the suit for you and it means you are you are steady you are stable you are secure you don't be in fear seven of swords finally getting it behind you being able to release it and walk away and move forward okay whatever this event is it's it's being swept behind you now we have the strength card selling you can get through this you've got loyal energy right beside you. Archangel Ariel is walking you through this and will not abandon you. Through hell and high water, this energy will walk you to the goal. So you are being escorted. 
stand in the, the faith that the universe continuously provides, whether it's money or the result you need. Whatever it is, you are secure, you are stable, and the universe has your back. And the Queen of Wands, you will prevail. This is the energy of being absolutely coming out, feeling empowered. Um, when we have a moment like this, so this, what I'm getting, my Virgo friends, is that some of you are going through some of those white knuckle moments in life where you feel like you're being tested. And the test is, my darlings, not to give up. Not to give up. Stand in your faith. Say it out loud. You are deserving of all the good things in your life, and this is your ability to push that energy forward. The universe is answering it. Don't overthink it. Two of swords, okay? You can't, you just have to, faith, faith is not logical. Miracles are not logical. Let go of the need to want to control it or have something to do with it. You can't, to see these, the, her arms are crossed. It's not up to you to fix this, but it is up to you to stay strong and focus on it being fixed. Here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Virgo, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So, this is Archangel Michael, the sword of truth, the sword of justice, okay? And there's your king. You've got him twice here, and you're with the sun. Being released from what no longer serves you. Just putting it behind you and moving forward. Fresh, clean start. And the moon means it's still in the place of manifesting. It may not have taken full form yet, but it is coming. Three days, three weeks, three months. Third time's the charm. So there's your time period. You're in fear. Try not to let yourself get in control, out of control with this. This is the Nine of Swords. It just means that when you feel uh, that you're completely out of your comfort zone, whatever you're going through is not something that's typical in your life. And so you don't really know how to deal with it. Just allow yourself to realize that all these thoughts are your worst case scenario thoughts that you're running in your mind. It's not the truth unless you manifest it. So don't invest in this energy. Block those energies of just completely go into the statement of the universe has my back. It's, di it's divinely working everything out for my highest good. Just keep on pulling that energy to, to manifest your best possible outcome. And there it is. The burden being lifted. The ten of, ten of rods. So the ten of rods is a blooming new opportunity and the release of the struggle. The release of the heaviness of whatever this is. So it's definitely releasing. And it looks like it's working out in your favor. A new beginning. The fool starts the brand new quest. A new adventure. Open clear heart. Feeling very redeemed and and whatever this old thing was is completely closed it could, they're saying sealed okay so it's sealed and you're moving forward without any um duress whatsoever being able to move forward very quickly it's telling you to hang in there let all things kind of settle out don't settle for less than you deserve so don't take the blame for something that's not your blame and the nine of rods is indicating that it is all the work and all the things that you've endured to get here. It, this feels like something to do with um, having you're at the end of a like you've worked really hard to get to a specific point. So don't worry. It's not that you're not going to be able to complete it. You're right at the edge of it. So you're still working toward that goal and it's OK. Just so stand hard and, and plant your feet just like you would with, you know, this king. He's not joking around. It's, it's He's dug in. He's not going anywhere. And this is an offer that's coming in. Um, it could be from a family member. It could be from, you know, some kind of uh, peace offering, right? 
whatever it is, don't just dismiss it. He's ignoring it because he's not willing to uh, risk whatever it is. However, um, I always advise to at least see what it is, whether you take it or not, just don't blow it off because you're asking the universe for something you don't want to say no to just everything that comes up because you're trying to say yes to the right thing right so here we go eight of swords is a lot of overwhelming energy and and it's literally feeling the lack of control and trying to get you know get your bearings on that but it's okay to be not controlling this is not for you to control you just have to be in that place of faith and connect to source she has a blindfold on because it's not about her human ability it's about her spiritual ability and here is king of swords archangel michael coming in with the shining sword of truth and justice and strength and protection and removing obstacles and there's the sun the sun is the happiest card in tarot. It means the best result possible. It also can mean a rebirth and success. And then there's your king, Virgo king, king of pentacles. Standing in your power, being in a place of strong position. Release of all the toxic energy that has happened previously. The cosmic garbage man coming in to clean the slate and give you a fresh new start. As you can put it behind you, let it go, and walk away. Take the experience for what it was and move on with your life. It feels like there's a battle and you feel like you're kind of under attack. But this is just temporary and it is in the process of being resolved right now with this Pisces moon. So it is allowing you to see everything. Everything hasn't come to light on this. Whatever this little... Um, they're saying melee <laughs> so whatever the squabble was okay whether it was an actual physical altercation or if it's just an inner inner struggle this moon card is saying that everything hasn't come to light so once it does everything's going to change queen of cups nervous about the future but still ready to move forward three days three weeks three months third time's the charm the four of pinnacles is the energy of being very much in a place of security being held safe even though you're freaking out it's okay just realize that all these fears are what you're coming up with with your human mind this is not the truth of the situation we do that sometimes. We, we jump to the worst possible conclusion. And then you get to dial it back a little and let it go because you've got this ten of rods coming in here, which means you're being released from the situation. Your burden is being lifted. It doesn't mean in a bad way. So don't think about like something negative happening. This ten of rods is a great energy and it's a positive because it means you've the end of the cycle of that carrying that burden. Strength of strength of cards. <laughs> the strength card with the Leo Major Arcana and the Archangel Ariel. The Fool on top of that. So this is being led to the finish line and then having the new start, being able to feel like you can breathe again. The Nine of Pentacles is the energy of the Garden of Eden, so it's standing in your faith and, and knowing that there's been many other times in your life that things have gone sideways and you've been able to stand on the faith of the universe coming through and this is no different. Stand strong. Don't give in and don't let yourself buckle, okay? It's hard, but you can do it. You're Virgo. You guys are tough as nails. It's like, seriously like a rock so here is the queen of wands now you're back feeling empowered you feel like you really are things are moving in the right direction and the nine of rods means the end of the cycle here letting that go moving on now we got several nines here 
And it strikes me that that might be when this whole thing, because three months from now, you know, we'll be pushing into um, September. So it may take until then before it's released, but um, also you got a lot of sevens. You got two sevens here and another seven. I know there was another seven. So here's the two swords. There it is, three sevens. So there's the third seven with the seven of rods. So there you go. So if you're wanting some time period, have at it. That's it. So I send you many blessings, my Virgo friends. This is a really strong release and move forward. Whatever's been holding you back, whatever's been stomping on top of you, feeling like you've been run over by a truck, this is now moving out of your energy. Many blessings, my friends. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.